Hey guys, welcome back to Film Title. Today we'll talk about some insane moments on My Feet Are Killing Me. Let's head into it. Number 1. Nicole Nicole Moody had been leading a regular life until she damaged her leg after falling on her front porch. She was taken aback to discover that her leg had moved inward as a result of the incident. Nicole described her condition as being similar to the Wicked Witch of Oz, whose legs fold inwards when a house falls on her. Nicole stated that living with her leg had been difficult since it was uncomfortable. To make matters worse, she had an open wound on her leg's left side. When Dr. Sarah Haller first saw it, she was taken aback and worried that the wound may cause her further harm. Dr. Haller said that because the wound was open, there was a risk of infection entering her system and turning it into a life or death situation. Nicole's legs were distorted and she had an open wound, so she admitted it was a serious condition. Nicole admitted that her feet had a horrible odor that she equated to the smell of death. Nicole revealed that she wished for a life free of suffering after years of dealing with it. Haller encouraged Nicole to stand up and take a walk so she could better comprehend her predicament. Nicole stated that she walked around with the use of a stick. Haller admitted that her feet were shaped like a golf club. After seeing them, Nicole was also astonished to notice that she was placing all her weight on her ankle in an attempt to walk. Nicole, according to Dr. Haller, was also in danger of injuring her ankle. Nicole mentioned that as she moved, she could hear her bone snap. Haller chose to assist Nicole because of her critical condition. Nicole was promised that with the help of surgery, she could regain her feet. Nicole would also need to have a neurological examination to acquire a better understanding of her predicament, she added. Number 2. Web Toes Despite the fact that Dr. Ebony has treated many web toes in the past, she understood this case was unique due to Gabrielle's peculiar skin condition. Gabrielle revealed that she was born with a skin ailment known as epidermolysis bullosa. The skin is frail in this condition and it takes a long time to recover entirely. Gabriel got a number of wounds on his foot as a result of this. He stated that moving about caused him to wake up with blisters on his foot on occasion. At the same time, there were days when he would wake up to find another blister on his foot. Dr. Ebony was taken aback when she heard this story and sought to comprehend the extent of his suffering. Gabriel disclosed that his twin brother has the same skin issue as him. Unlike Gabriel though, his brother's illness improved over time and he is now well. Gabriel on the other hand is unable to claim the same. Ebony chose to examine his foot too, to see what it looked like. She was taken aback by the number of blisters on his foot, as well as the fact that he had a club foot. She was quick to notice that he had pseudodactyly, a disorder in which two separate toes were fused together in a webbed toe. Dr. Ebony also inquired if Gabrielle had ever met a dermatologist. He denied ever meeting one, and she thought it would be beneficial for him to do so if they were to proceed with a procedure. Because of Gabrielle's unique skin disease, Dr. Ebony needed to make sure he was healthy enough to undergo surgery. She was afraid that if they continued, his skin might not heal. Dr. Ebony advised Gabrielle to take all the necessary precautions and testing before proceeding with the treatment to ensure that they were fully prepared. Gabrielle agreed, and the two promised to meet up after the lockdown was lifted. Number 3. Josephine Dr. Schaefer opted to use video call because coronavirus made it difficult for him to see his patients in the hospital. Josephine explained that she had been battling the illness for a long time. When she first went to the doctor, they told her that the lump was forming because two bones were diffusing into one another. While they were able to extract the bone, her foot's condition didn't improve as the mass of skin began to cover it up. She stated that she was in a lot of discomfort when walking. Josephine said she wished to live a regular life where she could move freely, describing the discomfort as a knife sticking through. According to Dr. Schaefer, the bulk could have been pressing on the nerves in her foot, causing her agony. She went on to say that the discomfort sometimes seemed like something was wrapped around her feet. Josephine also reported that her foot would go numb at times, causing her to lose feeling in her toes. Numbness can be caused by a disruption in the blood supply. Even though Josephine underwent previous procedures to remove the lump, it always returned bigger. Dr. Schaefer was persuaded that Josephine had Proteus syndrome after examining her condition. Proteus syndrome is a genetic disorder that causes overgrowth of bones, skin, and soft tissue. He went on to say that because the pain from her foot might travel to her knees and hips, she was more likely to experience knee and hip pain. Amputation, according to Dr. Schaefer, is the best solution for it. He explained that a special prosthetic leg could be made for her, allowing her to walk freely. Josephine, on the other hand, didn't like the notion of having her leg amputated. She appeared nervous and questioned whether it was necessary. Dr. Schaefer reassured her that the condition to amputate would be made jointly and that they could make a decision once they met face to face. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel 
channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.